in teaching the jump float, there's a one hand and a two hand jump float. And the one handed jump float is uh, almost for sure more popular, but we like both. And it really comes down to which one the server can do most effectively. So for our starting position for both serves, when we're doing a one-handed jump float, we want to start with the ball in our left if we're right-handed. And if we're left-handed, we'll start with the ball in our right. If we're doing a two-hand jump float, we want to start with the ball firmly in two hands before we start our approach. From there, we get into our rhythm, and for both serves, the rhythm is the same. It's one, two, lift, three, four, hit. So right as our weight is coming dead through the center of our second step, we want to toss the ball forward, and then we take our third, fourth step, jump, and hit it. And that rhythm should be allowing us to move forward and contacting the ball at the top of our jump. After the rhythm, we want to get to our toss, and whether we're doing the one or the two-handed jump float, we want to toss forward on our line. So if we extended our hitting arm straight up and drew an invisible line down to the floor from the top of our hitting arm, that is the line that we talk a lot about. And as you look at great servers, you can see them toss, contact, and swing through that line. And usually the more inefficient the server, the more they deviate off that line, either behind themselves or off to the left or too far out to the right. But we want to toss forward on our line and get really repeatable with that. Then we start getting to the swing and the contact, and we want to get loaded before we swing. So any throwing motion, whether it's a football, a baseball, or spiking a volleyball, we want to see that shoulder get back. And that creates lots of opportunities for torque and power and all sorts of good things with our swing. So it's not so much about our elbow or our hand, we just really wanna see our shoulder get back and that creates the load. And then finally, we want to get to the contact, which is arguably the most important element of the serve. And we want to contact flat through the ball, specifically through the center of the ball. If we create a hard surface with our hand, especially the heel of our hand, and we can drive that through the center of the ball, we'll get lots of good qualities in terms of no spin, creating the float, uh, some elements of speed and making the ball flat. So we want to contact flat through the ball.